So we are so excited to be here today. And then our first dance we have, um, it's called the Blessing Dance. The dance. So this dance, um, pretty much just, we just want to bless the event and uh, welcome all the honored guests. And then um, during the dance, you'll see the, the dancers spread out flower petals towards the audience. And this is just in hopes to bring you peace, prosperity, and good health. So please welcome the Blessing Dance.
awesome dance. So we have another dance. Uh, this one's a little bit different. Um, this one's called the Peacock of Passat. It was originated in the Passat province in Cambodia, where the, pe where the uh, people of the Cardamon Mountain perform dances for the spirits. During the dance, the performers wear a headgear of peacock feathers, the uh, bird's red and green tail feathers, um, which represents the peacock as they play in the forest and mountains. Please help me welcome the Peacock of Passat. Welcome to Thave Afsara Dance.
performance is a Cambodian folk dance. Uh, this one is a little bit different from the classical dances, which the costumes are much more colorful and the music is faster and it's livelier. Um, so this next dance is called the coconut dance. Um, with the coconut, the Cambodian people often save the shells, polishing them and then using them for many things in their home. So this dance was inspired by a popular game that was used for coconut shells. And this game was usually played during first ceremonies and weddings and often engagements. So please help me welcome the coconut dance.
another classical dance. Um, the next dance is to express hopes for a bright and happy future. The Pongdiri dance symbolizes blossoming flowers, and through this dance we seek happiness and a new beginning. Please welcome Pongdiri.
Um, this is Virginia Park. She was crowned uh, Miss Cambodian American last night, and we are so proud of her and so honored to have her here today. Thank you. Congratulations again. Okay. So our next dance is um, will be our last dance today. Um, it's called the Pastel Dance. So all over Cambodia, after the harvest, uh, it's time for a song and dance. And uh, this performance celebrates the hard work of the harvest. We have a motor and pestle used in Cambodia to mill rice. The motor is a bowl, typically made of stone, and the pestle is a club-shaped stick. So people would use the mortar and pestle to grind spices. So two people, each with a pestle, would pound alternately back and forth in a constant rhythm. And it's this rhythm that this beat provides for the basis of the dance. So you can imagine after all the hard work after the harvest and several days of pounding, the workers could heal, could hear and feel this beat in their sleep. So it's very natural for them to join in in song and dance and celebrate the harvest. So please welcome the Pestle Dance.
Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the Anchor Dance Group. I just, I just want to, I kept them on stage. They're not supposed to stay on stage, but I told them to stay. And here's why. Uh, so, stage. Hey, guys, come on, come on. Come here, come here. Yeah. Don't be shy, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Okay. Uh, you, sir, what's your name? Curtis. All right, Curtis. Listen, uh, have you ever had your ankle <laughs> chopped by those two poles? Uh, twice on stage. Twice, tw so during a performance? Yeah. Okay, wow. All right, and how did that feel? It was okay. It was okay, all right, so not as bad for him. Anybody else get chopped right in the middle of a performance? No? No? All right, I just want to say thank you for sharing this amazing dance. This looks very dangerous. So thank you. Give it up for them one more time, guys. Give it up. Yeah, all right. Thanks for, thanks for coming up. Yeah, take care. All right, also, give it up one more time. Just keep it going. Keep it going. Here's why. The stage, very hot. And they, not wearing shoes. No, no tienes zapatos, ni chancras, calcetines, nothing. So that's, that's happening.